my goodness, this is going to be something up here. I can see this place bustling at the time the Civil War started. Oh my goodness. i got to realize this was founded before the War of Independence. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, this looks like Old South here, doesn't it? It does. Oh my goodness. You know what that is over there on the left? Oh, uh, slave housing. I'm sure it is. So beautiful. And bumpy. Goodness, look at this. You saw this of us driving in. This is what they call the Avenue of Oaks. This was actually planted by the son of the original owner of the plantation. And uh, these trees are over 300 years old. And when I think of Old South, there it is. It is, I don't know, maybe maybe a half a mile, almost a mile long. Just take that in for a second. Isn't that amazing? We're coming up to the main house. This is the old plantation house. Unfortunately, they're not gonna allow us to photograph inside there, but let me just spin around the grounds. You can only imagine when this plantation was operating 7,000 acres Originally growing indigo for dye, then cotton after the invention of the cotton gin. And then after the Civil War, if you can't quite see it, but over there in the distance, pecan trees. Over 800 pecan trees planted here. And uh, was the largest pecan producing farm in the United States in the 1800s. But just take that in for a second. Isn't that amazing? There we go. The plantation house. And we're going to go into it in just a minute. We've just finished our tour of the house. It was absolutely amazing. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to share from inside there. But um, beautiful. We're now in the courtyard. And down behind me here are some marshes. I'm going to... Joan, I'm going to walk down here to the marshes. Just to take some pictures. Well, and, and I'll show you a couple things here. As I shared earlier, some of the houses are, or some of the trees are 300, 400 years old. There's one here that I'll show you in just a moment that's over 600 years old. But um, when you think of Old South, Old Historic South, Antebellum South, this is really quite amazing. But uh, wait till I show you the pictures here of this garden and the, and the salt marshes. It's... Um, it's quite spectacular, but uh, look at this tree. It's over 600 years old. Now, again, this is a bit shadowed. Uh, the top of this was broken out by a hurricane, I don't know, 200, 300 years ago, but they're estimating this tree here is over 600 years old. We're gonna be going down here in this area in just a minute. Um, a piece of history that unfortunately I'm not proud of, but it's something we're gonna see in the South and I'll share that with you, but um, Look at these marshes. Look at this. And look at these beautiful trees. The movie The North and South was filmed here with Patrick Swayze. Um, if you look out in the marsh, if you ever saw the movie The Notebook, um, this is where they were out in the rowboat when it rained. So that's another little interesting modern tidbit. Look at this. And for those of you who are also history buffs, if you're familiar with the Gershwins and the movie Porgy and Bess, uh, they stayed here multiple times uh, in the 30s with the owners of that period of time when they came down here to write the movie and get inspiration. Something, huh? You can uh, see the house behind us and you hear about Southern Gardens and that's what we're walking in right now. It's just beautiful with with these beautiful 300-year-old um, bricks that were here and just incredible st structures and just places where they went in the cool of the evening, I guess. It's really something out here. You've got to see these gates. I 
I think these may be modern, but uh, no, they're not. These things are very old. And there was a day <clears throat> back when I was going through school, I actually made old ironwork. And you can see here, this is very, very old. It's all bratted. This is before, there's some wells where it's been repaired, but this is beautiful, classic Charleston ironwork. Isn't it something? I'm gonna turn around one more time and let you see the house before we leave today. Wow, something. Well, as I said, there's an unfortunate part of history that we as Southerners live with, and uh, that is slavery. And being that this is a plantation from the 1600s and to emancipation, um, there was quite a few here. I, I don't remember the numbers exactly, but the slave quarters were all brick. This was, they had a large brickworks here. This is some of their remaining structures from that period. This is referred to as Slave Street. We're going to go in some of these and I'll do some filming if it's allowed. Just kind of give you an idea. There was a brick wall that separated this area from the plantation home that you can see in the distance. And all these quarters were uh, made by slave labor. The laid brick, the tiled roofs. And uh, we'll go in this first one, maybe one or two more, and I'll, I'll just kind of show you what this looks like as we go in. Very simple structures. We give this just a, a second for the camera to change around. This was actually a early African Methodist Episcopal Church from 1717, 1770, excuse me, to 1849. Very simple structure. Little fireplace, simple booths. We'll go down here to a few others as we go. They gathered in the evenings to tell stories, sing, and make secret plans. House servants would come down from the big house to give any news they had overheard. However, the fact remained that their family could be broken up at any time their owner chose. Well, it's been an interesting tour today of Boone Hall Plantation. Really a, a glimpse into the South that's so very rare. Uh, this plantation, again, is in its original state from the 1600s, even though multiple plantation houses have been rebuilt. But um, it truly has the views of that period, uh, even down to the sandy road that you go in, and uh, the home, and even down into the slave quarters that we're visiting now. It's, uh, it's truly a place of, of beauty and emotion and even some sadness when you think about it. But um, it is a piece of southern antebellum history. And um, it was really an interesting place to come. I encourage you to do that if you're in the Charleston area. Uh, it's absolutely a stunning plantation, well-preserved, and um, something I think you'll enjoy seeing.